The Letter to the Hebrews Hebrews 1 Long ago, in many ways and at many times, God's prophets spoke his message to our ancestors. But now, at last, God sent his Son to bring his message to us. God created the universe by his Son, and everything will someday belong to the Son. God's Son has all the brightness of God's own glory, and is like him in every way. By his own mighty word, he holds the universe together. After the Son had washed away our sins, he sat down at the right side of the glorious God in heaven. He had become much greater than the angels, and the name he was given is far greater than any of theirs. God has never said to any of the angels, You are my son, because today I have become your father. Neither has God said to any of them, I will be his father, and he will be my son. When God brings his firstborn son into the world, he commands all of his angels to worship him. And when God speaks about the angels, he says, I change my angels into wind, and my servants into flaming fire. But God says about his son, You are God, and you will rule as king forever. Your royal power brings about justice. You love justice and hate it evil. And so I, your God, have chosen you. I appointed you and made you happier than any of your friends. The scriptures also say, Lord, in the beginning you were the one who laid the foundation of the earth and created the heavens. They will all disappear and wear out like clothes, but you will last forever. You will roll them up like a robe and change them like a garment, but you are always the same, and you will live forever. God never said to any of the angels, Sit at my right side until I make your enemies into a footstool for you. Angels are merely spirits sent to serve people who are going to be saved. 